This is Jyoti, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, JJ College of Arts and Science, Pudukote. Today we are going to discuss about uh, caching in ASP.NET. Caching means storing. While uh, browsing a web page, several things to be maintained. Uh, what uh, website we are viewing and how long we are uh, viewing, how many times we are viewing a particular web page and uh, what content we are viewing. Like this, so many information has to be maintained in the server-side application. ASP.NET uh, provides uh, support for uh, two types of uh, caching. One is page output caching, another one data caching. In uh, page output uh, caching, the entire web page output is cached. So in this case, we can specify the life of the cached page. That is, we can specify the parameter duration and specifying how long a particular uh, data has to be cached. And uh, next to this is uh, we can use a vary by param attribute for uh, specifying different uh, parameters. Here vary by header uh, it is used for uh, holding HTTP header uh, content. Similarly vary by custom can be used to store uh, what type of browser we are using or any custom string that we are using. Similarly vary by control can be used for uh, holding a particular control. So a portion of the page uh, can be placed into a user control and that uh, control uh, information can be stored as a cached information using the attribute vary by control. So we are uh, holding a partial page output in a particular control. Then next to this is uh, the second type of uh, caching is data caching. This is similar to application variable. So what value that we are going to hold uh, that can be maintained as data caching. So here uh, a, a fragment of the HTML content can be holded as a cached data. So here uh, we, uh, we can uh, see the example. Uh, my data is our uh, cache. So we are uh, creating it as a source. And uh, if it is uh, null, then we can create it uh, by inserting uh, data which is available in the table authors. So we are creating our own uh, cache using the content of the table authors. So we are uh, placing that source into the cache my data. So now we have created a cache 